Here we got the original BFG, the new VTG, the original BFIG, and the BFGX. What you can see here behind the back here is my grenade box. I have all my different shells and everything in the spots for where the grenades will go in. Okay, one of the things that I want to show is on my original grenade, there's a big K for my call sign keeper um, cut in there. I am going to do the same thing to this one. And the one guy said to me, why are you doing that and make it look ugly? Well, if I throw this somewhere and it lands, it's mine. People will know it with a big K in there. Um, as far as the BFGX, um, I might paint the bottom yellow or put yellow tape on it or something just to make it uh, a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, I've been testing it, throwing it various places, and it's beat up pretty bad. One of the things that I'm finding out, though, is unless it hits at an angle like this or straight on, that does not go off. Um, I think it's a little different than the original impact grenade for the fact that that went off in various positions. Didn't Certain ones it didn't go off, but it did go off in a lot of different ones. We've got to test it just to see. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'll do a little bit now or, or, or wait. What we'll be using for testing today will be the 38 short blank and the 38 normal blank. You can see the difference in the sizes putting them side by side. It's hard to see with me holding them. It is uh, quite a bit shorter. So we're going to try each one in each grenade and see how it works out. Okay, what we got today here is I've got the BIF, BFIG and the BFGX in this hand. We're going to drop them from roughly three feet, which is my waist high, and see if they go off. Uh, we're probably going to be serenaded by the guys uh, shooting today up at the shooting range. I'm going to drop this on the flat on each one to see if they go off. Okay, starting with the BFIG, or BFG, BFIG, I'll get the acronyms right. Damn, that went off good. Now, same thing with the BFGX. That's a fail. Now, we're going to try the same thing. I got the BFIG here, BFGX here. We're going to end them. And to end on the bottom, end, on the top end, we're going to drop them and see if they go off. Um, this was quite a loud explosion when I was doing this, so I'm hoping that's not as bad this time. Okay, dropping the BFIG. Went off, no problem. Dropping the BFGX. No problem. Okay, now what we're going to try is same thing. BFIG and the BFGX side drop with each one just to see if they go off. Okay, three feet high. Nothing. Three feet high. Nothing. Okay, now we're going to try something sort of a 45 degree angle with the BF. Okay, BFIG, and I think this will go off this way which it does, and the same thing with the BFG-X, I don't think it quite landed at an angle, let's do this angle again, a little bit sharper angle, and it does go off. Interesting fact, uh, I am using these right here, they don't fit in the BFIG, the original design, but they do fit in here. So let's just drop this for sound. Much louder. Okay, just so we can go through each one. Uh, the bottom drop test on the BFGX failed. Sheldon Guaf. Did go off on the BFIG. Top test went off on both. Side test didn't go off on either. 45 degree angle went off first on the BFIG, no problem, but the BFGX, I had to give it more of an angle to go off. And of course, the larger 38 blanks don't fit in 
the BFG, BFIG, and the BFGAX, they fit in no problem, and they're rather loud. So I would say, all in all, the BFIG is getting a better review than this one. It looks a lot better, and I guess if you hit it perfectly on the top or at a 45 degree angle on the side, it will go off on the top. It will not go off on the side like this, and I don't think it'll go off like this either. So you're either hitting it straight down or hitting it at an angle, and a pretty steep angle because I had it like this, it didn't go off, so almost like a 45. So bottom line on this, very nice looking grenade. Um, I'm going to buy the other one that has the other end on this side to see if that makes a difference. It might be something that they need to just get rid of this line and have it on both sides. I think it's a better style, uh, probably with both ends go, being able to hit. But use-wise, looks really nice, works a lot better. So if you're going to buy one, buy this one for now, or buy the double-ended one. When I get that one, I will do a review on that one. Added note, I just want to show something, is the pin on this is you can hold the grenade and it doesn't come out. It's a little stiffer to pull out. I don't know if it's something with just my pin, but it doesn't seem to go in all the way, and it's just barely holding. I don't know if it would actually let stuff go off. You know, I can't seem to get it to work in there any better, and it just about falls out. Maybe if I spread the pin a little bit, it might help it, but it don't seem to go in as far. Um, I don't think you set that one off unless it actually falls on the end, so I think you might be safer with that one. Okay, here's the testing we're going to be doing with these, uh, so you can see. Um, VTG, BFG. We're going to be starting out with the 38 shorts, 38 longs, then we're going to be doing the 12 gauge uh, smoke powdered ones, and the ones that are more sound, uh, 6740 loads. Uh, this one is going to, you can see more smoke when it goes off compared to the red. So we're going to begin testing. Okay, we're going to try and get them out in frame here. Okay, here we are starting with the original BFG. Now that's that 38 Special. It's got a lot more smoke in it than most of the other ones. Now we're going to do the VTG. Try and get that out in frame a little bit better. Very nice, very nice. Added note. This new tool that comes with the VTG and the carabine, um, awesome. I can load the grenades a lot better. I did make up a wooden one myself with a shaft like this, but this is a really good design that they've done with this. So, excellent choice. Okay, now we're trying the longer 38 blanks, and this is going to be the BFG is going to go out first as soon as the car goes by. Throwing. Little bit louder. Um, here comes the VTG. If you notice that these blanks that I got aren't as much smoke as the ones that I bought from Perfect Shot. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for the 38 blanks that I'm using. Okay, here we're going to go with the white 6740, which is basically a more smoke, less sound. BFG first. Excellent smoke. Look at that. That's incredible. Okay, now we're going to go with the BTG. Same thing. A little bit deeper, richer sound. Uh, there's bigger holes on the VTG, so I think that makes a better sound, but it's, it's incredible smoke. Okay, this is a 6740 low. It's supposed to be more sound, less smoke. That's basically the red shells. Starting off with the BFG. Not bad, still pretty decent smoke, supposed to be louder. Now here comes the VTG. I think the bigger aspect holes in, in, on the top of the VTG uh, make the explosion a little bit tad louder and you get most of the smoke coming out of there right away. It's a very satisfying explosion and people are going to know they're hit because of the smoke. Okay, final word with the uh, shooting in the background. BFIG, 
BFGX. <clears throat> I'd say a more positive result with the original BFIG compared to the single fire mode uh, BFGX. Uh, I think there's an M84 at the end of there. I have to look that one up. Pretty good with all the blanks, and the BFGX does take the longer style 38 blanks, which the gray ones, which is a positive. Um, whether they'll go off or not is another story. Now, coming over here, original BFG, VTG. And like I said, the new uh, arming uh, tool is incredible. It, it worked great. And I just did a, a test on the side. I interchanged the tops, and they worked on either one, which is hilarious. In The inserts and the tops themselves. So uh, they're interchangeable parts between the two. If I buy parts for the VTG, I'm going to be able to put them on the BFGX, or BFG, I should say. All right, you've got, you saw the short 38s, the longer 38s, the white with more powder, more smoke, and the red 6740s, which are supposed to have more sound. I think the sound was about the same. There is a deeper, richer sound. You can see that the hole is slightly bigger on each one, and I think the way that the 12 gauge sits, it sits a little bit below the hole where the 12 gauge on here sits right up to the hole. And maybe it just a little bit bigger chamber, I don't know. But it does sound a little deeper when it goes off in the VTG. So very positive result. These are available in the United States. You can order them through SWAT UK. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, the cost uh, you know, it was anywhere from $150 to $180 uh, with shipping. Uh, depends on the shipping that you get with it. Uh, I actually got shipping Royal Mail because there was a problem with DHL coming over here. Uh, other people have got it through DHL in Ohio, a couple other places in the United States. Three-day shipping. That's what I was told. Mayan took eight days to get here from England, which is still not bad when you're figuring shipping from, like, the West Coast here takes five days. So that's really not too bad for the, the VTG. Um, when I did get them, both of them came in the box. So uh, the shipping might have been a little bit more because of the two. If you were just the one by itself, it might be a little less expensive. As a training grenade, this is awesome. You've got a three to four second delay. Um, this one as an impact grenade is also a good one if you're in a CQB environment with a harder floor. I think it's going to be really good. Now, what I'm going to be doing after the big hurricane goes through here uh, on my next video on the review of this is using these four in a practical application. Uh, we're going to do each one of the old ones. We're going to do the BFIG and the uh, BFG first. Then we're going to use the other two and see how they work in the same situation. A friend of mine is going to be helping me with on this so that like he can react to the grenade being thrown in, see if he can move out of the way fast enough or what can happen. Now, of course, it might change up in a real-life situation where you're in a game and no one knows you're throwing this at them. Um, it's a little bit more percussive. The sound is there, might not be allowed on some fields. But with a 15-foot kill radius on something like these, okay, and the smoke, you're definitely, somebody's going to definitely know they got killed. I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. Now, of course, having a grenade like a tornado, which shoots BBs, yeah, you definitely know you're hit with something as compared to just the sound. So it's up to the field owner if you're going to allow these and allow them as a kill or allow them as a distraction device. So bottom line, again, good purchase. Um, I'm 100%. I like the VTG. I got two now, so I'm happy they're available. I can order more if I need to, and I'm going to try and get some of my squad mates to order these in a bulk. As far as the BFGX, this model, M84 I think it is, with the single fire mode, uh, i got to say I'm not 100%. The original impact grenade fires on the top and the bottom when you drop it, so I was getting more fires with it. But I'd have to try the newer one that they have. I'm going to talk to uh, Paul at SWAT UK and see if I can purchase another one of these. Um, with double ended and see how that works out. So I hope you enjoyed the review and watch for the epic upcoming review I have of an impractical application in my compound. Thanks for watching.